Louder. Yo, what's going on guys? Chase Nader here and welcome back to another video and today's video will be me going in depth on Naruto Uzumaki and I will say it has been a minute since I have done a video on me going in depth on any character. Actually, let's go ahead and see when was the last time I went in depth on a character. So the last video that I went in depth on was about two days ago and that was the healer type loadout. And that doesn't feel that long ago, but it kind of does because I feel like I've been slacking on YouTube videos, but I did just release about two live streams, or not two live streams, but like three or so live streams and one, like a couple of them were an hour or two and my last one that i or my previous one that i just made was about four hours long and i hit a rank which everyone like round of applause a rank yay and honestly a rank was such a grind and a journey to go through and i don't see how people are s rank already in the game but anyways let's just go ahead and get like almost into the video because right here as I collect this scroll, I thought I activated Nine Tails mode or Nine Tails cloak or Ginger Dicky cloak, whatever you want to call it, because of the red aura and the like red effect. Because I thought a tail was forming at like right here because of the headband and how it's like having the effect of the red aura. Anyways, let's just finally go in depth to Naruto. So, for his substitution, he has Shadow Clone Jutsu. For throwables, he has Kuna Knives. And in Jutsus, he has Rasengan and one Cell Rust and Shuriken. Then Sage Art, Massive Rasengan for his secret technique. For Rasengan, this is a good ninjutsu to have for doing good damage and stunning enemies. So, like, let's say if you were lucky to do this, you stunned an enemy when you use the Rasengan on them. It would make them like ha stunned for a long time until they fall to their death basically which is what happened to me many times in the beta like the beta right now that's happening if you guys haven't played it make sure to go ahead and play it and I better get on to the video so for one star Arsene and shuriken it is good because when you throw it it chases the enemy and will do a lot of damage if it does hit them but if they dodge it then you better start spamming kunai knives to come up with like another plan real quick or just run away or whatever like most people do normally now and yeah anyways let's get on to the secret techniques now sage or master Rasengan is a good secret technique to have because when you use it it can destroy an enemy's health and if they dodge it or if they're or basically if they're caught in it then it is good but if you like they basically substitute out of it then it's really pretty much a waste so basically what i mean is when the full game comes out it will mostly and always be shinobi striker content and it will be pretty rare if i upload a different game or whatever anyways guys i will be uploading more videos so stick around for that and i will be making a special video for hitting 70 subscribers and this will be the like the first video making this and it won't be baldi's basics which i was talking about in my stream but it will be something else anyways guys be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell while you're at it subscribing and leave a like or comment if you did enjoy and what i meant by making a special video for hitting 70 subscribers i meant this will be my first video making like this type of thing and trying it Anyways, guys, you guys will have to stick around to see. I'm out. Peace.